I think we should just switch the player cams, that would uh, make things a little bit better. But yeah, we got TFD on the mess here and uh, and Moosh on the Zelda, so. Um, yeah, I. These are definitely these two um, players' most comfortable characters, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is the entire set. But, uh. Uh, Misha has been known to have a few pockets, so we'll see what happens in this game one. Um, Moosh does like to play a bit of a campier game and really let his opponents come to him. Um, using that, uh, the Guardian and the, uh, Reflector, um, to, to wait out his opponent. Uh, okay, not gonna find that, um, the yo-yo, but gets the back air. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice down B there. Or er, B. Down B. Um, okay. PK Thunder. Just gonna shield it. Do PK Fire. Looking for that Guardian. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm gonna get Nadia here on Thumbs, maybe? Cool. Yeah. Good showing. That was a tough set. Amac is a tough competitor. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your placing? Uh, not happy. Yeah. I said that on stream in the last time, so it's not gonna be happy. Did you do those two pools? Uh, tomato and egg. Nest here is actually uh, giving giving Moosh a little bit of trouble. Oh, but he air dodges off stage and he's oh, and he does make the recovery. That was uh, that was impressive. Very good double up the and catches him with the yo yo. So three one. So wow. Very good for the TFB. This will definitely have to pull a lot. He gets that stage break, so that's gonna seal out TFB's first stop. Alright, yeah. Uh, Moose is trying to slow down the pace a little bit, it seems like, and uh, really let TFD come to him. Oh, that was nice. Good little dash back. Yeah, he brought that back so fast. Okay, and this is so... Okay, yeah, those double up bees are saving him a lot. That was, uh, that could have been really bad for him, but... So I've been on stage like FB, because usually if it's stage falls, if you get the double up B, there's, there's a good chance you'll hit the double up B and then you'll just fall. Exactly. Okay, clean in there. Nice snare. Let me come back on stage. Pretty free though. Okay, back throw. No up throw. Interesting choice. Probably good. Probably does the most damage. I guess. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't want to steal the back throw because I'm going to quite kill yet, but I thought he maybe had a chance. Now, now it'll kill for sure. Yes, he does. And he lives! Oh my god. I thought that would kill for sure. But just cross stage, so great DI from uh from, from Moosh. Can he uh figure this out? And no, he doesn't see that here. Two bats. And <laughs> Alright, so going to Yoshi's story. Um, Jeremy, or who is Rex? This counter pick. Yoshi's story, yeah. Small, small bad phones make it easy for Zelda to kill. Mm -hmm. Get to this down throw bear fair. Or as I call it, Thunder Tires. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, We'll see how Jamie's strategy changes here. Um, after he was down pretty, pretty good in that first game and then brought it back, but couldn't seal it out. Thank you for your, your time.
time. Good luck. Alright, so, oh, nice parry there, but, uh, I'm gonna end up running past. Okay, catches him. Okay, wow, just jumps and air dodges backstage. That directional air dodge is so powerful for characters that don't have the best recovery. Okay, forward throw. Okay, yeah, TFK is doing a good job of mostly just avoiding um, Musha's edge guards, but Musha's gonna get that guardian to get that kill. Um, take the first stock in this game, too. Um, okay, John Chill's gonna dash attack, that's kinda nice. And he's gonna get caught by that and doesn't get the tech, so. Might might not even have been touchable. Um, so, yeah, fairly even right now. We should have a little bit of a lead, but that can go very fast as we've uh, learned throughout this set. Okay, PK Fire, not gonna get the forwarder though. Get the guy out from Moosh. Forward throw, not gonna catch him there. Oh, nice. Forward air off ledge to uh, take that sock. Oh, reflects the Guardian. Okay, I see you, TFD. That's kind of nice. Up. Uh, up tilt, up tilt, down there. Sneaks in that back air, though. Not gonna find the yo-yo. Another back air. Yo-yo, no. Into the back throw. Guardian catches him. Wow, he's... Oh, and he gets poked. And, oh, that was a weird interaction, but... Uh, basic back safely, that's what counts. This Guardian's out here. <laughs> Okay, and wow, yeah, that pressure is just gonna force CFD into kind of a nice steal. And uh, it's gonna be game two going to Jordan, so that kind of thing did work out for him. Um, and it looked the status. Uh, from uh, Smashville and Yonoda. Know. Um, and also just with the, the, the setup with the ledges there, helped him get his edge guards in. And this is no longer Loser's Round 3, it's actually Loser's Top 8, so... What's that then, Loser's Quarters? Yeah, that sounds right. Alright, so Kalos is the counter pick for TFD. Uh, we'll see how it works out for him, but... Jeremy just really happy just to wait back and try to force this to approach him and really just toss out this Guardian and put a nice nair. Okay. Wow. He reflected the Guardian or something. That was wild and... Jeremy just got absolutely deleted uh, from that stock. I didn't see what percent he was at, but I think it was quite early and he still just basically got obliterated. So, uh, big brain play there from TFD. Um, and then since in a nice backer. Wow, he's racking up percentage so fast on this stock. If he could seal this out early, that would just really put him in a really solid position. Might try to look for that grab soon to get that back throw, but... Oh, okay, and just gets that back air instead, so... Yeah, three to one. Um, and... Soft stage. Okay, nice comeback with the forward air. Okay, dodge that guardian. Off stage again. But yeah, that, uh... This stage is um, it's a lot harder for Jeremy to get the, uh, the edge guard with the Guardians like he was getting in the last game, but uh, he does still have that stock with an up air, so still behind by quite a bit, but we'll see if he can uh, turn this momentum around. Okay, PK fire into... Wow, okay. 
Kiki Thunders. Doesn't get that one though. And he ate, okay. Nice Cardian. TFD is getting uh, getting Moosh up in that back throw range though, if he's from the right uh, spot on the stage. Okay, but Jeremy has been playing this stock uh, safe. Yeah, no, that's gonna... Oh, not quite. Okay. It's actually good for Jeremy because if that move gets a little bit stale, it's a lot less scary, but... Yeah, it's just at a percent where it's... Uh, uh, like that. Okay, so TFD going up 2-1. No character switches, so we're just going back into it. And I missed the stage selection, so I'll be Smashville. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking for those grabs. Not gonna find them yet. Okay, the chest but I'm sure it's zero shield pressure, but okay, just runs in right into that yo-yo there. Just a dodge pass and he's gonna get just a dash attack for a punish, so not too bad. Okay. Big fire doesn't work out. Yeah, TFD just so smart with that, uh, that down B to stall and kind of push back the opponent and trying to string them in those backers, which works, has worked a few times for him. Um, something to, to look out for. Uh, that down B has um, set knockbacks, so it doesn't matter. Or set pushbacks, so it doesn't matter what percentage uh, uh, your opponent's at, it'll push them to the same distance. So he might look to get some kills that way. Okay, he didn't have a jump, but he still recovers. That was a nice recovery. Okay, oh, I thought he was just going to go for the grab there. Get that back there. Yeah, there's a forward smash from, from Moosh coming out, so he'll take the first stock in this one. Oh, but he will get caught with the yo-yo there, and uh, this game's dead even. Um, this could be uh, Moosh's tournament game, so uh, he loses this one. He will... Uh, leave in seventh. Okay, wow, nice play from uh, from the blood trap, I should say. Nice snare, and that guardian catches him. It's way off stage. And, uh, wow, great job from Jeremy using that side beam. That was a zero to death. Yeah, I think it was. That was uh, impressive. And he still hasn't been touched for quite some time now. Okay, there's the PK uh, fire finally getting a little bit of damage on him, but. That was just such a strong uh, minute or so from Jeremy that it really swung the mind of the momentum in his favor. He'll try to force this into a game five. Okay, gets caught a little bit there, but it's going to be able to recover fine. He's uh, DI's out of that PK fire. Okay, nice up here from TFD. Okay, gets the guy in again, puts him off stage, and yeah, no, that is, uh, that's the second time Jeremy is, or Moose just went off stage, uh, to try and get that spike, and then it's, uh, ended up with his death after getting caught by the PK Thunder, so, um, let's see if he keeps going for it. Okay, pretty much back on the stage, gets away with it, but 110%, he's gonna start dying with things pretty quick here, in 24 now. He's gonna need to put about 60 more percent on uh, on Moose, and then he can start looking for a back throw. Okay, we can do that. No, but it's gonna go into a board there for for Jeremy. And he's gonna see all game four. So yeah, pushing this to game five. Great set so far. And one thing that you love to see about Ultimate is just the character diversity. Um, seeing this. Strong Zelda and a strong no, Nesk with each other. Uh, this late in the tournament is just something really cool about a new game. Everyone's still trying out their new characters and figuring out who their mains are, so I'd love to see that.
Stadium for the uh, last game, so first stage, one of my favorite stages to play on. Um, we'll see uh, see if this counter pick works out for TFT. Alright. Runs away from that PK fire. Okay, catches him there. Oh, but reflects it. Yeah, that's so smart from Jeremy. Really uh, protects himself from getting, uh, er, from TFT getting follow-ups off those PK players. Okay, nice little uh, drag down to up till. Wow, he just runs right into the baseball bat. I think he actually was planning to reflect the Guardian again there, but um, Moose just, yeah, just took that baseball bat right to the face. Um, not the strongest strategy, but yeah, getting that reflect though again off that, so not gonna find that uh, that roll on stage to get that smash tech punish. Over tilt. Okay, clips him with the yo-yo. Back on stage though, forward throw. Okay, using the PK Thunder. Ah, uh, using that teleport though. That's my picture. I mean, where's he going? Oh god, though, I don't know what he's doing there. Okay, dash attack. Using the PK Thunder again, but yeah, gonna get teleport punished again. So, same uh, interaction there pretty much twice in a row. Okay, back air. We hit though. Ah, uh, wow, just calls him out. Okay, nicely done from, uh, from Moosh, but he is at quite a percentage deficit here, so we'll see if uh, TFT can steal up the stock or if uh, Moosh can bring it back a little bit, and yeah, he's going to sell that out with the back air, so gives himself uh, quite a strong lead here. If he can uh, hold on to the stock and Moosh did have a nice combo there to get him a 50%, but uh, definitely going to need you need to keep this momentum going if he wants to win this game 5 situation. Okay, Ness just hanging back now and he'll look to use these PK fires and stuff and force Moose to approach. Catch him with Oh my god, these PK fires. Wow. Forward air. Oh, using that PK Thunder. It's such a, so strong in this move, or in this game, to. Oh wow, and he, he was looking for the uh, PK Thunder 2 to seal it up there, but he hasn't with the 94 now. That, that just built so much damage. Was hoping he'd just run into the baseball bat again. Okay, grab, back throw. Yes, that's gonna be it. So, yeah, TFD taking that in a game 5. Uh, I'm gonna be too happy about that one. He probably felt, felt like he could have won that, but great set overall.